What did you think about the three points of view of the lightsaber scene when Ben Solo falls to the dark side in The Last Jedi? So it's kind of interesting that Ryan Johnson decided to kind of arrange the film this way because we don't typically see this type of structure in Star Wars movies with flashbacks and such. A lot of Star Wars takes place kind of at the present time. Although in episode three, we did see Anakin having premonitions of the future um, of Padme's death. And then also in The Force Awakens, Rey could see different things from the past um, when she first came in contact with the Skywalker lightsaber. So I guess there's some precedent there. But at any rate, it, it did give a very different feel to the film. And it is a reference to the movie Rashomon, which was kind of shot this way, where it had several different perspectives of different characters portraying the same events. And it's pretty interesting to see different points of view and well especially in this movie in the last jedi two of the points of view are from luke and one of them is from kylo and like with many things the truth is probably somewhere in the middle so if you look at luke's portrayals his first portrayal he says you know he was confronting ben and he's not depicted as having a lightsaber drawn at all so it makes him look almost like the victim and that's probably the point of view that Luke would want to believe the most um, because he's just he's just very ashamed you know so next Ray hears the Kylo Ren version of it where it looks like Luke is about to go in and uh, kill Kylo and then Kylo's defending himself, and then he Luke has these like crazy eyes in the Kylo version as well, so uh, looks kind of scary. And then you know, finally, it loops back to Luke's um, second version of these events. You know, Ray asks him about that, and Luke says, Oh, well, you know, actually, I did have my lightsaber drawn, and you know, you see that whole thing in the scene, he has his lightsaber drawn, but. According to Luke, he kind of regretted it at the last moment, but it was already too late. So, yeah, the truth is somewhere among all of the, all three of those versions of him. I mean, mainly, I think, the two where Luke has the lightsaber drawn. So, it's, it's just, it's, it is kind of interesting to see this scene portrayed in these different ways, and it seems like each character, well, well Kylo believes his version and Luke believes his version. Um, that's totally believable to me. Um, just from a story standpoint, though, it's just, it's different to see that kind of thing in Star Wars. But it does also remind me of that Obi-Wan line. You know when Obi-Wan didn't tell Luke that Vader was his father? And then um, Obi-Wan says, many of the things, many of the truths we cling to depend greatly upon our own point of view. So in some sense, uh, this, you know, choice of Ryan Johnson in The Last Jedi to have these three versions of the same event, this is a kind of um, literal embodiment of that Obi-Wan Kenobi phrase from Return of the Jedi. So... I don't know. It kind of comes full circle. You have Obi-Wan, you know, Ben Kenobi explaining that to Luke, and then um, you have this whole kind of Luke and Ben Solo thing that epitomizes what Obi-Wan had said. So it's kind of strange you have two Bens involved, two different Bens involved in a similar situation. So what did you guys think about this kind of artistic choice, um, this editing choice of Ryan Johnson in The Last Jedi? Did you like the choice of this scene and the nod to Rashomon and just kind of the structure and the suspense? Or did you not care for it? Do you think it's not really appropriate to have this sort of um, story structure in a Star Wars movie? I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments section.